hey i'm making my rounds on social media so if you just caught me on instagram this is kind of a repeat i've talked to about 10 homeschool moms and dads over the past two days and when i ask them what are they struggling most with homeschool so many of them are struggling with the anxiety that their kids are behind and then when I dig a little deeper, which I love to do, right? I am interested in knowing you personally. You are not just a number. You are not just a random person inside this Facebook group. My name is Becky and I truly care about you specifically. I want to know who you are. I'm curious about where your kids are and I want to know about your homeschool journey because see this gray hair? Okay, it used to be dark brown, but I like to use this gray hair and share with you the mistakes that I've made over the past 25 years of homeschooling so that you don't need to make the same mistakes. And I also like to breathe encouragement straight into your life personally. And so I do that by reaching out to you in messages or DMs or through personal emails or videos. So anyway, I've had these conversations over the last two days these 10 homeschoolers and a common hiccup that these people are calling out is that they're anxious and frustrated because their kids are behind in school. And so I dig in a little deeper, like tell me about your kids, how old are your kids? And out of the people that were anxious about their kids being behind, a huge majority of them had children that were younger than seven years old. And so from my gray hair experience, I look at that and I say, wait, wait a minute, what do you mean your kids are behind? They're exactly where they're supposed to be, right? The only reason that you look at your kids and you think that they're behind is typically because you're measuring them against something else. You're measuring them against their peers that you have access to see, so maybe neighbors or friends or you are comparing them against a curriculum that has big bold letters across it that says grade such and such, and then you open the page and number one, your child can't do whatever's on the page yet, or worse and more common, you look at it and you go, wait, I don't know how to do this on the page. So you end up feeling a little bit less than brilliant and then your children are stumbling because they don't get it too. And then these homeschoolers that I've been chatting with make the mistake of saying, well, because my kid can't do this, they must be behind. And I want you to know that your kids are not behind. They're exactly where they're supposed to be. If your kids are younger than 14, and I pick this age out of a hat strategically, because when, if, when you go through the three stages of homeschool class, if you haven't, raise your hand and say three stages, please, and I will, I'll make sure that you get the link. There are only three stages of homeschool. The first one, sorry, my hair is in my eye. The first one is when your kids are learning to read, right? And it doesn't matter if they're reading the word Tyrannosaurus Rex or the cat in the hat, that, that foundation of learning to read. There's this beautiful stage in between where most homeschoolers hiccup and they get tripped up by curriculum, the flourishing and fun stage. The 14 comes in the launching stage. Most kids, by the time they're 14-ish, start to see where they're going after high school. And it's at that stage that you start to map out and plan, what are my kids gonna be doing after high school? Are they gonna go to college? Are they gonna go to trade school? Are they joining the military? And then whatever they're doing, you then design their path, you plot their path to launch them into life. But if your kids are younger than 14, I need you to grasp this. They are not behind. Holler and say hi if you're seeing me. Say it helps just spread the word to the other people in the group that we're chatting. But if your kids are younger than 14, there, there's no list anywhere that says these are the things that they need to know how to do. With the caveat that the people that are telling you that a 10 year old should do these 47 things, they're trying to sell you the curriculum that's filled with the 47 things. So people, and that's not bad, curriculum's not bad. 
I used curriculum off and on through the entire 25 years that we homeschooled. However, nothing printed on the page is a game. It's, it's not a deal breaker for the education. I'm going to encourage you that if you are feeling like my kids are behind, I want you to take a look at why do you feel that way? It's likely because they're not connecting with the material that you have in front of them. They're not connecting with the lessons that you're trying to teach them, or you are comparing them against something or someone else. People in the, in the general public or something printed on paper that gives you the permission, or the, sorry, my husband's texting me, gives you the ability to compare them and then say, ooh, they can't do this yet. Imagine that you are an amazing chef that can make beautiful soups and stews and breads. And then I would have the audacity to tell you that you are behind as a chef because you can't bake a cake from scratch. Well, that doesn't make sense. It just means that you haven't learned to bake a cake from scratch yet but you already have the foundational skills, you can read and you can follow a recipe. So you just need practice in order to actually bake a cake, right? Your kids are the same way. They're not behind. They just haven't been exposed to some of the information that makes you buy the lie that they're, they're not where they're supposed to be. But there's, there's really no set of things that they need to learn that are specific that are deal breakers, right? They Except they need to learn to read and you want them to fall in love with reading. They need their basic math facts done inside and out by the time they graduate. And at some point they le need to learn how to communicate both on paper and orally. Everything else is fluff, kind of, but it's fluff. It's the material that you use in order to help them become better communicators. It's the material that you you expose them to, to in order to see behind what is it that makes their heart beat faster so that you can give them more of that so that they'll fall in love with learning, fall, be excited to move forward in their education. If you are feeling behind, I need you to know that I don't just have this group just for the sake of having a Facebook group. There are other things that I like to do. I like to go on walks and I like to, I'm working on an Afghan right now that's just this beautiful sampler of crochet stitches that drives my, my it's drawing the color out of my hair. Some of the stitches are so hard. But I'm out here because I made it 25 years down the road in homeschooling, that we raised up five amazing sons that some of them didn't read till they were 10. Some of them didn't write until they were older. Some of them I had to sit next to at the kitchen table all the way through school to make sure that they either stayed on task or that they understood exactly what it was that they were doing. But at the end of the day, they all launched into life beautifully. Even though I never did a formal science curriculum with one of them until he was in high school, even though I never really followed a history curriculum, even though I hid all the language arts papers because I thought they were boring <laughs> and I just did other things with the kids, even though I had all the kids doing the same math at the same time, even though they were different ages, they still made it. They still made it all the way through high school. They all got associate's degrees. Big deal, so what? But that's what that, that was part of their their plan to help them launching into life. And I need you to know that just because my oldest son didn't do science, really, except gardening and identifying things in nature until he was in high school, he still learned everything that he needed to know. He still is able to look at things through a scientific lens and ask questions and form hypotheses and do all those things. Your kids are not behind. So if you need help, know that you're just not this phantom name to me. I actually want to get to know you. I would love to be able to see what you have going on inside your homeschool 
so that I can use this gray hair. This gray hair is here for a reason. It's not just because it's gorgeous, right? <laughs> Whatever, Becky. It's for a purpose, right? I made it this far so that I can reach out and I can grab your hand and then I can encourage you so that your relationships are stronger with your kids. That you don't get to the end of homeschool and send them out never to see them again so that they become excellent communicators, so that you can find the freedom and the joy inside this homeschool life that you might not be experiencing right now. And that you can, you can sprinkle magic over the things that you're doing with your kids so that they are excited to learn. This is my joy, this is what makes my heart beat faster. So um, I have different things that can help you. I have a free three stages of homeschool masterclass. I have the 18 minute crash course, which will give you overviews of the different types of things. And then I have a survey that you can take that can give me a peek inside your homeschool so that I can help you, right? Wouldn't it be great if this person actually cared about you? I, she really does. So test it, see if I really care. Go ahead and message me or comment and let me know which pieces you're looking for. So. I'll go back and I'll add these in there, but the three stages, the crash course, the survey, um, and then let's pick up the conversation off by ourselves, either in messages or in email or be brave and book phone calls with me. I love to have conversations with homeschoolers. It's, it's how I can help you, right? Once I know that you're struggling with feeling like your kids are behind, but they're only six, I can help you with that. Once I hear that you're not connecting with your 11, 12, 13 year old, except maybe that you want to hide them in a box somewhere, I can help you with that. If your routines are out of control, I can help you with that. If you're feeling strapped to your kitchen table and your curriculum is running and ruining your life, I can help you with that. But I, I don't wanna just speak to the masses. I'd, ra I'd rather speak heart to heart with you. So be brave, reach out, comment, message me, friend me, send me an email at a better way to homeschool at gmail.com. Um, just reach out because I am here to help you. So that's it. I got to respond to my husband. Have a great day and I will be looking for your messages.